Hi everyone, welcome back to another video here at Bits of Polish. Today we are going to be sharing all the polishes that I bought for October's Polish Pickup. I will start off by saying really quickly, it took this package a while to get to me. I've been waiting on it most of the week for it to arrive, and we tend to have trouble with our one post office that is several hours away from me. That is where all of our packages usually get. Other Polish Pickup videos, I usually go a little ham on Polish Pickup, and I'm glad this month's was a little bit smaller. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one we're going to talk about is this one from Cuticula. This is called beautiful garbage. This is a mauve base with large particle orange, red, gold, pink, gold, green, shifting shimmer. I'm hoping you can see a little bit of that color shift in the shimmer there on the edge of the bottle here. This one intrigued me. I'm not sure why I was so intrigued by this polish. I don't know what it was. So this is what it looks like in three coats on my swatch. This is pretty, but with that said, this is a little disappointing. I was not expecting it to be so sheer. It is a rather sheer polish. This again is three coats. Now I do swatch on clear nail wheels most of the time, so that could be playing a factor. But this is a little more lackluster than I was expecting it to be. With that said, I'm going to definitely try it out first and see if I want to keep it in my collection or not. So that is three coats of Cuticula Beautiful Garbage. This next one I saw knew immediately that I had to get this one. This is by Coloris de Carol and this is called Red Hot Flannel. This is described as being a deep ox blood polish with green to gold to copper to purple shift fairy flakes and multi-dimensional magnetic effect. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Let me grab my magnet. I had it out and then ended up putting it away. So I want to magnetize this in the bottle for you guys to see and then I do have it magnetized on the swatch. So there it is magnetized and when you magnetize it, it gets into that deep oxblood base and then you get that really beautiful multi-dimensional magnetic effect to this polish as well. I saw this one and knew I had to have it and it ended up in my collection. So this is, I believe, two coats. You may want three with this one depending on application, nail length, and preference, but look at that. It is squishy so it will take a few coats to build up. You could even put this over a darker base color if you wanted to and magnetize it that way. So that is two coats of Coloris de Carol Red Hot Flannel. This next one I did not initially have on my wish list until I saw Mercedes from here, Hey Mercedes here on YouTube. She swatched this for her polish pickup video and I was like, oh my, I have got to have that. This is called Poser. I don't have a description of this one. Oh yes I do, there it is. <laughs> I was sorry about that. It's right in front of me. This is a slightly blackened green base with green to blue to purple shifting iridescent shimmer and holographic flakes. This looks beautiful on Mercedes, so when I saw her swatch of it I knew I had to add it to my collection. Did I absolutely need it? No, I probably did not, but it is beautiful. So this is two to three coats. I want to say that this is three. Isn't that beautiful though? Look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Such a beautiful polish. So that is two to three coats of Polished for Days Poser. This next one's I had to have. This is by Rogue Lacquer. This is Urban Decay. This is described as being a brown toned purple with purple magenta and orange flakes as well as a subtle flash of gold glass flakes. This is gorgeous. I tried talking myself out of it, but as most of you guys know, I love Rogue polishes. I purchase almost every polish she comes out with when it comes to polish pickup, and this was no exception. This is really fun. So on my swatch here, I did do three coats. Two coats I felt like were a little bit sheer still, so I wanted to go ahead and add an additional coat to this. I did also swatch this over a black swatch stick, which blew my mind how gorgeous it was. I'll show you that here in just a second. So that is three coats of Rogue Lacquer's Urban Decay. 
and then I did do a single layer over a black swatch stick. So this is what it looks like in one layer over black. I don't know about you guys, but this is beautiful. It's more of a squishy polish, so you could build it up in three coats on its own, or you could pair it over a deeper base color, just like this. Either way would work beautifully. The final polish was the one that I also knew I needed in my collection. This is Wildflower Lacquer's Last Kiss. This is described as being a blackened, red-leaning maroon base with purple to pink to orange shifting shimmer. This is gorgeous. I've seen swatches of it, but I tell you what, swatches versus seeing a polish in person, I wasn't ready for how pretty this was going to be. So this is it in two coats. You can see that beautiful shimmer in here. This is so dark and dampy, it almost looks black in some lighting. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that is two coats of Wildflower Lacquer's Last Kiss. I'll do a quick up close up here. This is everything that I picked up. These are beautiful. I, I'm absolutely floored by these polishes. They're so pretty. Hey guys, that is it for today's video. Let me know if you bought anything from October PPU, if you picked up anything that I shared in today's video. I love hearing what polishes you guys have on your wish list, what polishes you ended up picking up. Just allows me to kind of interact with you and see if we have similar tastes or if you pick up something totally different than what I decide to. They are absolutely, these polishes are beautiful, with the exception of Cuticula. Cuticula was a little bit disappointing for me. I am going to play around with it, try it, and see if I want to keep it in my collection or not. Definitely was a little bit disappointing. It looked better in the swatch pictures, I think, than it actually does to me personally. But anyway, that's it for now, guys. Hope that you have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.